This app is brilliant. It allows Channel 7 to ask their viewers what they think about something while it is happening on TV. Yeah, yeah. like for instance, here on Today Tonight. Now, you see, 77% of Today Tonight viewers agreed with either silence or arson. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Both options ring sadly true to me. Uh, now, now, that technology is clearly ready for the big time, isn't Definitely, it? Definitely, yeah, yeah. And so Channel 7 used it during the debates to judge the winner. Who do you think won the debate? Now, you can see the votes coming in here. And if you just look at Kevin Rudd's total on the left, it's in, it's in the 40s, goes up to the 50s, the high 50s, and then after two minutes... So let's close that now. Yeah. What about... Oi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty steep drop at the end there, Andrew. Runs 32% all of a sudden. How did that happen? It's all a bit weird, that. Yeah, yeah, well, like... Definitively dodgy, no. I think, Andrew. It's not dodgy, Tess. No, no, no. That, that, that was just a, a one-off freak occurrence that happened again in the third <laughs> debate. Now, down you go, Rudd. <laughs> ah, that's better. <laughs> Things got so bad that by the end of the night, the seven logos suddenly dropped to three. <laughs> You know, I, I think there could be an explanation for, for all these funny yeah. numbers. Yeah. I think one former leader might account for that sudden drop in Rudd's popularity. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we shouldn't suggest there's anything slapdash about Channel 7's polling. Their statistics department is second to none.